Hello, my sweet summer children. I'm back with the juice to get you through the long night. Now, I'm sick. I'm on medicine, but let's go. Let's do this. The trailer is here, and I am shook, like shook, shook, like big shook. I'm, I'm taking my time with this. I don't want to miss shit. I'm also super excited and hyped, so I'm like trying to calm myself down. But you know what? We have waited for this moment for eight years. It's been since July 2017. We've been waiting for this. So let's go. So the trailer was released today and it opens up with Arya. Arya Stark and she's running through some castle corridors it really reminds me of that chase that she had with the waif in season six in Bravos. it seems like she's being chased by someone or something now I'm wondering where this is is this Winterfell or is it maybe the dungeons of King's Landing so I had a theory a while back that Arya could sneak into the King's Landing via the dungeons because she had done that before started trying to look at some things and try to figure out where she is this is a wall sconce behind her with the fire in it and it doesn't look the same as the wall sconces in King's Landing's dungeon but the wall material the brick actually does look the same it could be King's Landing and maybe they just changed the wall sconces it, it kind of looks more similar to Winterfell this is a Winterfell wall sconce and this is a Winterfell corridor so I don't know what do you think Arya's face also looks dirty like it did when she climbed out of the dungeons in King's Landing in season one so I was totally thinking like maybe Arya is in the dungeons of King's Landing and she's gonna like go in there kill Cersei kill the mountain do something because the Cersei and the mountain are both on her list but anyway it's probably more likely that it's in Winterfell because of the overall picture of the trailer but we'll get into that so it actually cuts to a scene of Davos Seaworth walking the battlements of Winterfell it looks like he is ready for war but it also looks like he's nervous and he's thinking about shit kind of reminds me of that scene with Davos and Tormund in season six um, right before the Battle of the Bastards. Looks like he's on the battlements and he has Stark archers on the battlements with him on the battlements of Winterfell. So very shortly in season eight, we may be hearing Davos hollering, Nuck loose, like Dolores Ed did in season four. So Arya is saying some words over the trailer. She's doing like a voiceover. I know death, he's got many faces. I look forward to seeing this one. Yes, she is talking about the Night King. And when she says it, she, I think she's talking to John. Maybe even Daenerys, maybe John and Daenerys. And she's holding a dragon glass dagger. She is ready for the Night King. This means that Arya is going to be fighting the White Walkers in season eight. And I also like that Arya does a comparison to the many face god and the Night King because I actually think the Night King is somewhat of a many face god. So I love that comparison. But while she's saying death has many faces, it zooms in on Varys. Like if Varys is a faceless man at this point, I would just melt into the floor. Like I can't even right now. I can't even process that right now. So Varys is in the crypts of Winterfell with the women and the children. And I was so happy to see people in the crypts of Winterfell like hunkering down, looking up like shit was going on. Because like a year ago, I did a video on how I think they may have to retreat into the crypts and wait for the Night King to go around so that they can come behind the Night King. So the crypts of Winterfell, I believe, is protected by the same magic as Blood Raven's Cave. But seeing Varys and Gilly and all of them huddled up around the Stone Kings makes me think those stuff Stone Kings will protect them. But Varys, why are you in the crypts with the women and children? Pick up a sword, Janice. Pick up a sword, Janice Slint. Pick up a sword. I don't even see Sansa in there. Sansa might be bossing it on the battlements. Or she might be in there just in another shot. Could you imagine Sansa off in the corner with Daenerys talking? Kind of like Sansa and Cersei in season two when they were talking during the Battle of the Blackwater. So we have the Greyjoy ships on the sea 
coming back, stopped full with the Golden Company. The Greyjoy ships though, if you look at it, it kind of looks very ominous. It looks like they're sailing right into a storm cloud. Look at the sky on the left. It's much darker than the sky on the right. But the ships are packed full of the Golden Company, the biggest sellsword army in all of Essos, formed by bitter steel. Now there's something interesting going on here. So the Golden Company is being led by Harry Strickland. But Bitter Steel was the founder of the Golden Company. He is a Blackfire Targaryen, a bastard Targaryen, and he had stolen Blackfire and took it to Essos with him. Blackfire is the Valyrian steel sword of Aegon the Conqueror, and it looks like Harry Strickland could actually have the sword Blackfire. If you just look at the sword, it looks very ornamented. It looks like the sword should stand out, like it looks like they want it to stand out. It looks amazing. Knowing that the Golden Company commander last had Blackfire, it's reasonable to assume that this is Blackfire, the long lost Valyrian steel sword of House Targaryen, which likely means the Golden Company could end up fighting the White Walkers as well because the Golden Company has a Valyrian steel sword and Valyrian steel kills the White Walkers. So the next scene we have Beric, Tormund, and Dolores Ed. I'm wondering where they are. It actually looks like they are inside of Winterfell. But then again, it could be King's Landing, but I kind of think it's Winterfell. I'm going to go with Winterfell for this one. Does this mean that they are fighting the White Walkers inside the damn castle? I can't. I can't. Like, I'm shook. I'm shook for real. I mean, fighting White Walkers inside of Winterfell, like, could you imagine that? I can't imagine that. So then Bran looks to be talking to Sam outside, and then Sam snaps his head, and he's seeing his breath. The Walkers are coming. The White Walkers are coming. Usually, visual breath means that the Walkers are about to attack. We get a big shot of King's Landing, gold cloaks on the battlements, Lannister banners hanging, I'm the lion, hear me roar. It's it's not as dark as the north though. So winter still hasn't come even though it looked like winter had came at the end of season seven. Cersei is standing with Kyburn, the mountain and her queen's guard in the same place she was in season seven. It looks like she's watching Euron arrive with a smirk on her face because she's glad that Euron made it back with her army. And in three ships, it looks like Euron lost a lot of ships. But anyway, Bran is in the background talking. So he says, everything you did brought you where you are now, where you belong, home. Now, he could be talking to John, home as in Winterfell, but he could also be talking to Daenerys because she's home as in Westeros. But they're saying it over top of the Gold Company. It starts with the Golden Company. What if he's talking to Harry Strickland? What if Bran is trying to convince the Golden Company to come over to their side? Because the Golden Company is mainly made up of exiles from Westeros that just want to come home. That's their goal is to come home. So I kind of like how they place that over the Golden Company coming to Westeros. So we get a shot of Wintertown and the Unsullied headed up to Winterfell on the hill and Daenerys and Jon riding side by side through the town of Wintertown going to Winterfell. Sansa is watching from the battlements as Drogon and Rhaegal fly overhead. She looks amazed and shocked to see these dragons and she almost looks a little scared. The shot of them flying over Winterfell really made me cry like I'm just a softy man like I'm just a softy seeing those dragons over Winterfell and knowing how long we've been waiting for this like it just gave me all of the feels so Daenerys goes down into the crypts to find Jon at someone's statue I try to freeze it I can't tell whose statue it is I wonder how it feels for her to go down there knowing the rumor is her father and brother put Brandon, Rickard, and Lyanna down there. So I'm wondering like how she's gonna feel about that. I'm wondering if John is at Ned's statue or Lyanna's. It looks like she grabs his hand. I, I, I think she really loves him. Like I think she's in love with him. So then it flashes to Gendry in the Forge of Winterfell making weapons. Gendry is the new Micken. Thumbs up for shirtless Joe Dempsey. 
I'm trying to get another shot of like a Heron Hall Joe Dempsey. So we have Jora looking to ride out in the battle. Grey Worm is leaving for battle to command the Unsullied, and Masande embraces him. Grey Worm, like, you have to live. You cannot die. It looks like someone was fighting on the battlements of Winterfell. I slowed it down a few times and I think it's maybe the Hound, but I could be wrong. I don't know, you guys tell me who you think it is. Jamie is fighting, he looks to be commanding, but I can't tell who was beside him. It doesn't look like Brienne, maybe Podrick, I'm not sure. So in the throne room, it looks like we have Harry Strickland and Euron in front of the Iron Throne talking to Cersei. Now, when the sequence is going on, we have Jon saying they're coming, our enemy doesn't get tired, doesn't stop, doesn't feel, yeah. That's what they're up against. They are up against an enemy that is almost impossible to beat. Shot of Cersei. It's hard to read. Are those tears of happiness? Are they sadness? Or are those those wildfire lust tears? In the book, Cersei gets what's called wildfire lust tears, like the Mad King. Jamie compares her to the Mad King. And this shot is kind of reminiscent to that. It's also reminiscent of that season six, I blew up your sept shot. So I don't really know what's going on with Cersei right here. She's looking a little emotionally unstable to me. So we have dragons flying what I believe looks north of the wall, but I'm not sure about that. It could be just some on the way to Winterfell shots. It's hard to believe that they would be beyond the wall at this point. There's nothing beyond the wall for them at this point, at least in my own opinion. We have Grey Worm getting his hat on. He's ready for war, ready to lead the Unsullied into battle and get back to his Masande of Noth. I don't know about you, but when Grey Worm puts that, uh, puts that helm on, I know Grey Worm means business. Next, we have Arya witnessing the dragons, likely from the same place that she saw the Hound in season one. Jon Snow is at the heart tree. I wonder if Daenerys is in front of him and we just can't see her. She's just in front of him. She's a little too small for us to see her. And I also wonder what he's praying for. Is he praying for victory? Is he asking the old gods to help him? I just feel like Osha right now. Listen to the wind, John. Listen to the leaves. The old gods hear you. The hound looks to no longer be afraid of fire. I mean, look how close the burnt part of his face is to the fire. He's not afraid of fire no more. He's embracing the fire like Melisandre. So we got Jamie saying that he promised to fight for the living and he intends to keep that promise. I think he is speaking openly in Winterfell's Great Hall because likely when he arrives, everybody's gonna be like Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, and he's gonna have to like tell us, he's gonna have to make some kind of speech and I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm here for Jamie's speeches about keeping oaths. So then it looks like we have Arya or Grey Worm or somebody clutching a spear. Jon is running, but is he running toward the battle or away from it? We got people running towards the gates of Winterfell looking to open the gates up really quick. So it's likely that Jon is running towards the gate. They have lost the battle and Jon is trying to get back into Winterfell. We can see Dothraki hooves kicking up snow. We have the dragons feasting and Jon and Daenerys walking up to them. It's like, is John about to ride a dragon here? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think it would be too soon because to me, it still looks like all of these dragon flying sequences and them walking up to the dragons eating is just them on their way to Winterfell. Sansa is on the battlements of Winterfell and it, she looks sad. I'm not sure what's going on here. She may just be afraid because she knows the army of the dead is coming and it's a scary thing. And then we have Arya doing that faceless men shit on the battlements. Yes, Arya kicked their frozen asses back beyond the wall. This is Winterfell. This is our house. Arya's got the moves, period. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm looking at this again. Is that Winterfell? Because that castle in the back kind of looks like King's Landing. Am I bugging? Let me know. Is this King's Landing? I, I don't know. Oop. It looks like Daenerys got the news about Jon being her nephew. That's what looks like going on in this scene. I don't know. Or maybe she's just scared for his life or something. But this could be Jon is your nephew reaction. So Tyrion is looking up at something. It's a dragon or a person. 
I am unsure. I kind of think it's a dragon. Maybe he's looking at the dragons. He Maybe he's looking at someone on top of a dragon, like Daenerys or Jon while they're on a dragon and he's trying to talk to them. I know the ground around him doesn't look like there's snow there. Maybe it's sand, maybe it's dirt. I'm not sure. So the way that it's cut, it looks like the dragon is going to eat Tyrion, but nah, that's not gonna happen. It's actually the dragons burning shit up. Like the dragons are gonna be just let loose and burning stuff up. Then we get a shot of the Northern Army. We have Brienne and Pod, the god on the front lines, ready to kick some ass. We have the Unsullied and Catapult. Also, the Knights of the Vale are there. You can see the Falcon Shield, and Jorah is on a horse. And then a dead horse steps up, and we see it approaching Winterfell. We see the fires of Winterfell in the background. So overall, the trailer held back almost everything. And that's okay, that's okay. Most of what we were teased with was John and Daenerys' arrival to Winterfell and the Battle of Winterfell. According to Entertainment Weekly, the Battle of Winterfell will be the longest battle ever in television history. The longest battle ever 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 in television history so the battle of the bastards ain't got shit on this apparently i'm really pleased with the trailer they gave us enough without giving us too much where it's spoiled as Tyrion would say they gave us something by giving us nothing because we already knew that this stuff was gonna happen this is kind of stuff that we already knew but it was good to see it and get our feet wet and get ready for season eight but what do you guys think what was your reactions and favorite parts of the trailer as always thanks for watching thanks to everyone that supports me on patreon if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please click that subscribe button hit that notification bell and join the sweet summer family okay my sweet summer children have a good day